fucking delicious though. I'm not even joking. Hey guys, I'm Myra, and today we're making a Marie Callender's copycat apple pie. But of course we're making it low carb and keto friendly. We're starting with our pie crust. Here I have almond flour, so it's just like blanched almond flour. I'm gonna mix in all the dry ingredients first. So here we have our sweetener, and we're just gonna give that a good mix so that it's just evenly distributed throughout the, the almond flour. We're gonna use ghee for the recipe. If you're gonna use butter or coconut butter, you can use the same amount. So it's one for one. It's just two eggs. And then just some vanilla flavor. So you can use flavor or extract. Either way, you just want the vanilla flavor in your in your batter. Let's go ahead and give this a good mix. So to form the dough, you're gonna need to get your hands in there, okay? We're gonna use gloves so that we don't get too messy. So I've kneaded this for about a minute, and this is what our dough is looking like. We're actually gonna use half of this for the crust and half for the topping. So we're gonna try to get a little creative with the topping, okay? I'm gonna try to be like all professional, baker life. So <laughs> you're gonna see what we do, but you definitely don't have to do that. I just want it um, for like aesthetic purposes and to get like a really nice photo. We're gonna cut a little less than half for the topping. Now we're for sure gonna have a little left from the crust and then we'll just kind of add it to the topping. Place it right over. And now we're gonna roll it out. So you're always gonna start from the center and then roll out. Center out, center out. Just like you're making a flour tortilla, you know? I left it at about a quarter inch thick. So now what we're gonna do is grab our pie dish. Um, this pie dish, I'll leave it linked in the description below for you guys. Um, this, the reason why I love using this one is because it has like, a, it serves a double purpose. Yes, it's a pie crust, but it also becomes a serving dish once you take the silicone off. You can actually serve on it, so it's perfection. And then you already know, nothing's sticking to silicone, which is gonna make your life so much easier. Beautiful. Oh, your pie might, the pie crust might actually crack, but don't worry because we're actually gonna press it into our pie dish. So we're just gonna turn it over, just place it right on top, turn it over. Remember I told you we're gonna have some leftover and it's gonna be totally fine because we're gonna um, use it for the topping. So obviously the crust cracks when you flip it over, but the reason why you wanna roll it out is that so you get a, you just basically get it as even as, as possible, you know? Cause if not, you're just gonna have like a big ball and to roll it out, it's just gonna um, give you more trouble. So we're just gonna press it in and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like once we're done. I know this looks weird because I'm using a potato masher. I actually use this to mash beans, but it actually works really, really well on the pie crust because you get it like nice and flat at the bottom. I ended up leaving it at about a quarter inch thick. Make sure that your oven is preheated at 350 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and bake our crust for about eight to 10 minutes. Do you guys know what a chayote is? This is a veggie. Now it's a very, it has like a really neutral taste so you can really go savory or sweet with it. Obviously today we're going sweet and we're gonna turn it into our apple. So if you guys have the time to do this, I would highly recommend that you don't skip this part. Um, you add two tea bags to the pot where you're gonna boil the chayote. And as you can see here, this is spiced apple cider. So this will intensify the apple flavor and literally give it like an authentic apple taste. It's crazy. I obviously sliced a lot of these so that, you know, I'm not doing it here with you guys, but I'm gonna show you how simple it is with one of these little mandolin slicers. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. It gives you these beautiful slices. They look just like a green apple. So typically we would be moving to the stove, but so that you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm bringing the pot here. You would wanna use like a brown sugar substitute. I don't have any, so I just always make my own. I'm using sweetener and this is just powdered sweetener. And I'm gonna show you how I turn mine into brown sugar. Brown sugar is made with molasses. So this is a, br a black strap molasses and we're just gonna add it right on top. It's super, super thick, but this is, it has like a really, really um, strong and rich flavor. And we're just gonna add everything right in. So we have our cinnamon, 
or nutmeg. We have lemon zest and the lemon juice. And then we have our maple syrup. This is uh, from Chalk Zero, no sugar added. I will leave this linked in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over to the stove. We're gonna cook this down and we will sprinkle in our thickening agent once we see how thick the this gets all on its own. Another option that you can do, so you can just crumble the topping, right? So it'd be like crumbled all on the pie, or you could roll it out and then just score it on top because they're all, they will all work. So here's our egg wash and we are just going to brush the topping. For aesthetic purposes, you know, our photos and everything, we decided to go this route, which again, took a little more time, but I think at the end of the day, it is worth it. So. We're gonna go ahead and bake this now for 25 minutes. I'm gonna show you what it should look like once it's ready. All right guys, so let's go ahead and taste. Oh my gosh, this is crazy guys. If you miss apple pie in your life, go right now, grab these ingredients and go make this. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. That's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're gonna be able to print this recipe along with exclusive recipes that you're not gonna find anywhere else on the internet. So make sure you check that out. If you still want a little more of me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and just a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, thanks again for being here. I love you and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.